हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद 2019 यूजीसी लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंसेस पेपर एंड जस्ट बी विद मी वी विल अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ओके के वी ई डिपॉट इज मेंटेन बाय इट इज मेंटेन बाय नेशनल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ नीदरलैंड ओके इट्स अदर नेम इज ऑल्सो दिस कॉनिक लिज के बिब्लियोथेक ठीक है इट इज एन परमानेंट परमानेंट एक्सेस टू द रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ साइंस इन इट्स कैपेसिटी एज नेशनल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ द नीदरलैंड द नेम इज गिवन दिस के वी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द टच डिपॉजिट लाइब्रेरी द एम ऑफ विच इज टू कलेक्ट कैटलॉग एंड प्रिजर्व ऑल पब्लिकेशन अपियरिंग इन द नीदरलैंड as the number of electronic publications is on the rise kb has embraced the important task of preserving and providing long term access to dutch electronic publications it has developed a digital information archiving system which is the technical heart of the e depot project it is primarily intended for the archiving publication by dutch publishers in addition kb researcher initiatives are geared towards ensuring long term access theek hai it is used to preserve and providing long term access to digital electronic publications theek hai it is used for long term access an attempt to make a computer resource unavailable to its intended users it should be not un, uh, it should not be available to the users is called denial of service attacks denial of service attack is a cyber attack in which the perpetrator seeks to make a machine or a network resource unavailable to its intended users by temporarily or indefinitely disrupting services of the host towards the internet it's kind of a stoppage that someone coming from here should not come here and use these resources okay which of the following is an information example of information padding you can read go through all the points it is adding of gracious gracious and impertinent words or information to a work or a piece of writing or speech extraneously making the same more longer which of the following information seeking behavior model information seeking behavior model explains the activity that is initiation selection exploration formulation collection presentation this all these activities comes under this kul thau model okay it is given by a name lady called carol Kul Thau, okay. She is now 82 years of old. New 82 years old, okay. It is also called as Carol Kul Thau's ISP Information Search Process. The information search process (ISP) is the six-stage model of the hol user's holistic experience in the process of information seeking. The ISP model, based on two decades of empirical research, identifies three realms of experiences: the effective, that is feelings, cognitive thoughts, and physical, that is actions, common to each stage. Okay, this. shows all those activities initiation selection exploration formulation collection presentation assessment and in each of these six stages uh, there are different kind experiences okay feelings thoughts actions you can go through these one by one okay 
which of the following is an example of microblogging wordpress blogspot live journal or twist, uh, twitter till you tell me the answer let me tell you wordpress came in 2003 it is a free and open source uh, content management software developed in php and paired with mysql or maria db database live journal live journal is a russian social networking service where us users can keep a blog journal or diary it is a blog hosting website developed in perl okay here the answer is twitter microblogging okay you should see the word microblogging the twitter twitter is an american microblogging and uh, social networking service on which users post and interact with the messages known as tweets okay registered users can post like retweet tweets but unregistered users can only read them users access twitter through its website interface through sms or its mobile device application software okay twitter incorporation is uh, based in san francisco in california tweets were originally restricted to 140 characters but now it is doubled to 280 for non asian languages in november 2017 twitter is being created in uh, march 2006 by jack dorsey no glance bestown evans william launched in july of that year okay research in progress research in progress database developed by inflipnet is known as what it is known as it is known as shodh gangotri okay what is vidyanidhi you can see in the first point that uh, there is written vidyanidhi 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 is a conceptual model okay it is given by nisad see here vidya nidhi project based at the university of mysore sponsored by india's national information system for science and technology nisad is emerging as a national effort to create maintain and provide network access to the digital library of indian thesis vidyanidhi a sanskrit term means treasure of knowledge has a two fold objectives to provide network access to indian thesis and to reach a global audience for research from the indian universities see you can see here it is basically used to store electronic thesis and dissertations do you understand here you can see the model conceptual model of this uh, like here submissions creations database and retrieval is given so first students submit to the different universities in this vidyanidhi project and then it is converted to sgml or pdf or created as uh, and there are the metadata as well as created okay what is sgml sgml is standard generalized markup language sgml is standard generalized markup language pdf you may know portable data format okay what is etd here etd is also written etd is electronic thesis and dissertations dissertations 
okay so all the content come under this uh, database you can see and with this is uh, being archive on cds as well as uh, in a printed form or in the paper form okay and uh, from the other side when the users want to get the information then these users can use the interface user interface and by this user interface there is a search engine search engines you may know there are a lot of search engines like google yahoo and other many other search engines and through that search engines uh, they can go through these databases and uh, can reach okay Sorry. Now, what is Shod Ganga? So you understand this, Vidya Nidhi? Now, uh, Shod Ganga kya hai? Shod Ganga, uh, it, it is established by Inflipnet Center provide a platform for research students to deposit their PhD thesis and make it available to the entirely scholarly community in open access. The repository has the ability to capture, index, store, disseminate and preserve ETD uh, submitted by the researchers. ETD as I said you, it what is that? Electronic thesis and dissertations. Under the initiative called uh, Shod Gangotri. Shod Ganga Vatadia, now Shod Gangotri. Researchers, scholars, or research supervisors in universities are requested to deposit electronic version of approved synopsis. Here the word is synopsis, here it is ETDs. Okay, some uh, approved synopsis submitted by research scholars to the universities for registering themselves for the PhD program. Now it is expanded to MRPs. PDFs, Embraer's Fellowship, etc. The repository, on one hand, would reveal the trends and the directions of research being conducted in India's Indian universities. On the other hand, it would avoid duplication of research. Synopsis and Shod Gangotri would later be mapped to full text thesis. Okay, these Shod Gangotri. Uh, full text thesis in Shod Ganga. So the thing is, first something comes under the Shod Gangotri, then goes to the Shod Ganga. As such, once the full text thesis is submitted for the synopsis, a link to the full text thesis would be provided from the Shod Gangotri to the Shod Ganga. So you understand? First synopsis comes here, then the thesis are formed and goes here, okay, in the Shod Ganga. National Digital Library of India is a project under the Ministry of Human Resource Development India. Okay, the project is to collect, collate metadata and provide full text index from a several national and international digital libraries as well as other relevant sources. It is a digital repository containing textbooks articles videos audio books lectures simulations fictions and all other kinds of learning media the ndli provides a free co of cost access to many books in indian and indian language english and indian languages now identify the points related to edward uh, deming's 14th point philosophy of TQM. TQM is what? Total quality management. Then what are the 14 points which come under this? So first I should uh, tell you the 14 point and then we will come to the answer. 
डेमिंग्स डेमिंग्स फोर्टीन पॉइंट्स ऑन क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट और डेमिंग्स मॉडल ऑफ क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट अ कोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट इक्वेम इज अ सेट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिस टू हेल्प कंपनीज इंक्रीज द क्वालिटी एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी ओके दे आर दोर्टीन पॉइंट्स सो दीज आर लाइक इन अ बेटर वे डिस्क्राइब आई विल टेल यू इन द शॉर्ट you can see this create purpose for improvement adopt the new philosophy cease dependence on inspection to achieve quality work with once one supplier to reduce cost continuous improvement on the job training leadership drive out fear break down silos no slogan no quotas or a numerical goal remove annual rating or a merit system institute education and the self improvement program involve all work in the transformation so you understand it is used to increase their quality and productivities okay so the answer is so the answer is you tell me see division of labor tha hi nahi pure wages tha hi nahi so there was like these two only option is this one now comes match the following bico technology rfid qr code and biometric technologies and uh, formed by like established by them okay now you ha- you should know this you have to learn these things the answer is this bico technology by norman joseph woodland and bernard silver rfid technology by ray theory Retag, QR code, QR code, sorry, QR code by Denson Wave, biometric technology by Sir William Hurchless. X Libris is an example of which type of cloud computing. See, you should know the cloud computing. If you don't know, then I'll let you know. cloud computing what is cloud computing cloud computing is a delivery of different services through the internet these resources include tools and applications like data storage servers databases networking and software rather than keeping the files on proprietary proprietary hard uh, drive or local storage uh, device cloud based storage makes it possible to save them to a remote database remote database as long as an electronic device has access to the web it has access to the data the software program to run it cloud computing is a popular option for the people and businesses for a number of reasons including cost saving increased productivity speed and efficiency performance and security so you understand uh but there is a kind of a cloud okay it is in the remote database remote database mein hota hai and uh, what are the things what are the resources in it it has the data storage servers databases networking and softwares okay x libris group as you see x libris group is an example of which type of cloud computing it is an example of software as a service okay it is an israeli software company that develops integrated library services and other library software the company is headquartered in jerusalem and has 10 other offices around the world in 2000 in october 2015 x libris has acquired by procast and is now a procast company 
which of the following technologies use electronic wave at radio frequency for data transmission electronic wave at radio frequency for data transmission which technologies use it so daily you are very much aware about it but you always think that you don't know <laughs> the answer is wi-fi see there are two types of the wireless technologies li-fi and wi-fi okay speed for data transfer is faster in li-fi than in wi-fi okay media through which the data transfer occurs used light as a carrier but here it used radio spectrum spectrum range spectrum range is also different visible uh, light spectrum has 10,000 times broad spectrum in comparison to uh, radio frequency radio frequency spectrum range is less than visible uh, light spectrum cost cheaper than Wi-Fi because of free band doesn't need license and it's, it uses light expensive in comparison to Wi-Fi because it uses radio spectrum network te topology in both of them is point to point right and operating frequency hundreds of terahertz here it is 2.4 gigahertz So you should know that the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is used for internet browsing, okay, it is used for, you should know this, just a second, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is used for internet browsing, okay, with the help of Wi-Fi kiosk or Wi-Fi hotspot. But Li-Fi, Li-Fi is used in airlines. Just a second. Uses. Uh, it is used in airlines. Undersea exploration. Exploration. Operations creators in the hospital office and home premises for uh, data transfer and internet browsing okay so you should uh, know both of them see uh, li-fi is li-fi transmits the data using light with the help of led bulbs but wi-fi transmits data using radio waves with the help of wi-fi routers So you understand this then next optical fibers are like this and uh, twisted uh, pairs are like you can see as the name suggests it's like being twisted okay thank you like subscribe and share we will come with the other videos tomorrow thank you